Welcome back once more. This is News Centre here on KTN News. A developing story for you, the Busia governor. So, Spita Jamong is currently at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission here in Nairobi. Jamong, who is accompanied by his lawyers, is expected in court later today. He will be charged alongside nine others in relation to a waste management project. The Director of Public Prosecutions recommended several charges, including conspiracy to commit an offence of economic crime engaging in a project without proper planning, abuse of office, willful failure to comply with law relating to management of funds and fraudulent acquisition of public property. Our investigations reporter Francis Ntomo is currently at Integrity Center here in Nairobi and now joins us live from there. Francis, uh, good morning. We understand Ojamong is where you are. Has he been arrested or did he present himself? Well, indeed, uh, Ben, we are here at the Integrity Center. And of course, there is piling tension outside here. Very little activity is happening behind me. And yes, at Sospital Jamong, the governor of Busia, is right behind these doors here. Of course, are going through the questioning by ESEC officials. And what we expect here is that any moment you're getting reports that he could be getting, he could be making his way outside this place. And of course, heading to court. That is what we are getting here from insiders. They're saying that any moment from now, Sospital Jamong could will be uh, taken out of these doors, taken to court. That is what is happening right now. No one really knows exactly what is happening inside, but yes, Ojamong is inside with some other officials from the Busia County government and, of course, uh, 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 leveled with those accusations that they squandered money uh, for the public funds at the Busia County, of course, in connection to that solid management scandal that has been following for quite some time now. So as we speak right now, we are seeing a lot of, a bit of activities happening on my right hand hand side here. We are seeing vehicles moving in here. We've seen uh, officers from the DPP office making their way here and uh, perhaps giving an indication that he could be taken to court today, but that is still uh, under wraps here. We are yet to know exactly what will be following uh, from this particular section. But looking at what has been transpiring, Ben, of course, we, the Nurdin Haji, the DPP, came into office with lots of promises, lots of uh, uh, commitment really to end corruption, and he was very uh, firm that he was going to go uh, for top officials, and top officials here could be all the long list that has governors and even members of parliament. That is what is transpiring right now. So from now, from now, any moment from now, we could be seeing Ojamong making way, making his way out of the Integrity Center, Ben. All right, uh, Francis uh, Ontomo, they are live from Integrity Center, just uh, trying to piece together the information, uh, waiting to see if uh, the Busia governor will be uh, taken to court, as we understand will be happening. Thank you, Francis. Uh, very, uh, very, in, very, very shortly, we understand he will be taken uh, to court. We also understand from the county of Busia uh, that the Busia County Assembly is said to be discussing uh, the governor's arrest. A motion of adjournment has been moved by a member of the county assembly, Gadi Ijaka, that is supposed that is said to be uh, discussed in the county of Busia today. So we are. Uh, keeping an eye on the, both Busia and Nairobi uh, to keep uh, the happenings, uh, uh, to bring the happenings to you as soon as they do happen. Away from that, let's uh, now take you to Russia uh, in Russia uh, for the Russia 2018 World Cup finals, where the last two, uh, last of 16 matches were played yesterday. 